Hello, it's April from April's Home, and today I'm here with a Christmas World Market Haul. Every single Christmas, it's our tradition that right around um, Thanksgiving weekend, um, either the weekend before or the weekend after, we head into town and go to World Market as a family and pick out ornaments and snacks and a few fun goodies to just use around our house during Christmas time, and it's just a really fun tradition. So I thought that I would share with you some of the fun items that we picked out for ourselves to enjoy during the Christmas. Christmas season as well as some of the fun ornaments and decorations that we picked out. So let's go ahead and start with some of the fun snacks that we found. World Market is always such a fun place to find snacks and different treats and foods and things. This is something my son and his fiance picked out. They um, love to try different teas so they picked out this Downton Christmas tea um, from Downton Abbey and so that looks like a fun tea for them to try out. This is one of my favorite treats. These are the um, Tunnock Smoked Chocolate Tea Cakes. They're sort of like a little cookie biscuit topped with um, marshmallow and then coated in a yummy chocolate. So these are definitely one of my favorite treats that I love to pick up when I'm at World Market. These veggie straws are a favorite of my family's just for fun, little snacking on while we're watching um, TV shows and things like that. So some veggie straws. These are the spinach and tomato variety. And of course, they always have a lot of really wonderful beverages at World Market. We didn't get that many this time because we're actually pretty stocked up right now. But I thought that I would try this um, San Pellegrino in a blood orange flavor. I really love the San Pellegrino in the little glass bottles. I just think it tastes really good. And I love the North normal orange flavor and so I'm really excited to try out this blood orange flavor. I think that this will be a really nice drink to enjoy and also I thought that I would try out this um, blood orange sparkling mineral water. I love citrusy flavors and I love blood orange flavor so I thought that this um, sparkling mineral water in the blood orange flavor would be really good as well. Every holiday season we have to stock up on plenty of Tarani syrup. I love to make raspberry Italian sodas. I think they look really festive. When I have holiday parties I love to have a little station where people People can make their own um, raspberry Italian sodas. So I always like to have this uh, Tarani syrup, the raspberry Tarani syrup on hand. Sometimes I also love to try out the cherry and the pomegranate. I love the red colors. I just think it looks really, really festive. I add this Tarani syrup to um, a glass with some ice and then top it off with either Sprite or just sparkling mineral water and then add a little bit of half and half to the top of that. And it just makes a really wonderful, yummy, festive drink. And then also I picked up this um, Pop Shop Soda Pop in the Lime Ricky flavor. I love, again, I love citrusy drinks and this Lime Soda Pop looked really, really refreshing and yummy. I found some more tea for both my son and his fiance to try out. This is a little variety tea sampler and I thought this was a perfect size for little like stocking size gifts and it has a bunch of fun different flavors in it. Um, oolong, black, red, white, and herbal teas. So I thought that that was fun. I got a couple little packs of those. My daughter also likes tea and she thought that this Christmas tea from Twinings looked like it would be really good. A nice classic Christmas tea. Then this is something that I get every single year for many, many years now. This is a tin of very, very yummy ginger snaps. And every year we love getting these tins full of cookies. I also get a tin and bring one out to my mother who also loves these. Um, I just brought her hers this past weekend. And of course she was really surprised as always and really excited to um, have these on hand to eat throughout December. I would definitely encourage you to try out these ginger snaps if you like a nice spicy thin uh, definitely a wonderful ginger snap here. So that's definitely one of our favorite cookies. Always have to have that every holiday season. And then I picked up some of these baking chips that I thought would be fun to use in holiday baking. This is the peppermint crunch baking chips and they're not like the hard peppermint. They're more like a soft peppermint candy so I thought that that would be a little easier to chew through. Um, I was thinking about coating marshmallows in um, chocolate and then rolling them in this peppermint crunch. So I thought that that would be a fun thing to try out as well. And also I have a tree nut allergy so I have to be really careful with my um, different candy products. And the nice thing about a lot of the Andes products is that they are produced in a facility that doesn't use peanuts, tree nuts, nuts, eggs, or gluten. So um, I love that it has that label on it and these are definitely safe for my allergies and so that's really wonderful. And I'm excited to have a couple bags of these to use in my holiday baking. 
And then I found a few fun little items. They had a really great selection of like stocking stuffer type presents and things. I don't need many of those now that my children are older. But I did pick up a couple of things. My daughter has an eraser collection. And this is an ear eraser. So I thought that that would be really funny for her collection. And also this little eraser here. It's like a little puzzle block. So a couple of little eraser items there. My son really loves Spider-Man. And these are like a vintage Spider-Man playing card. And then these little stickers here. I just thought these were cute for my sticker collection. I love vintage little golden books. And these are little stickers of all of the classic um, little golden book characters. So I got a couple sheets of those um, for my sticker collection. Another fun thing that World Market always sells are fun like musical instruments. Sort of like instruments from different cultures of the world. And I found this one and I really love the way that it rattled like that. I thought that that would be really unique to put in my music instrument box. I teach Sunday school and sometimes I like to bring um, my musical instrument box and I thought that this would be a really fun one to add to that box. So it's a very vibrant pretty yellow color. I love the little um, painted on pattern there and again I really thought that the rattle was a really neat sounding rattle. So that would be a fun item to put in my music, um, my little musical instrument box. I also found these really wonderful little miniature jams, um, preserves and marmalades here. I got one for um, me to try out. I absolutely love marmalades and little preserves on toast with my breakfast. And I also got one of these for my mother, so I'm really excited to bring that out to her as well. I can't decide if I'm going to give her that for Christmas or just bring it to her as a fun treat um, to enjoy during December. It has a lemon curd in it, a pink grapefruit marmalade, which sounds absolutely wonderful, a Scottish black currant preserve, and an orange marmalade. And it has a couple of the um, orange flavor. It has three of the orange marmalades and two of the black currants. And yeah, so I thought that that just sounded wonderful. I'll be really, really curious to try out the pink grapefruit marmalade. And I love just regular orange marmalade and lemon curd. And the black currant sounds really good as well. So super excited to have found those. I thought that, that was really unique. And I love the little teeny tiny jars. I know my mother will really love these as well. So I'm excited to have found those. And then I also found some really cute decorations. They had so many decorations to pick from. I don't need very many. I have a ton of decorations to use this year. So we went around and we each picked out an ornament. I picked out a couple of additional ornaments as well. And then I also found these really cute candle holders. I loved the shape. I thought it was really unique. It has sort of that gold, um, sort of a mercury glass look, like faux mercury glass in the gold. And it's got a cute little handle here. And again, I really love the shape. So I got a couple of those for my mantle. Um, I just thought that that would look really nice in the display that I have planned for my mantle. So those. And then here are the ornaments that we picked out. I'll go ahead and start with the one that my husband picked out. I thought it was so cute. He picked out this little bear cub. He spotted it right away and thought that it was really, really cute. He knows that we're doing a little woodland sort of look for our tree this year, and um, he just thought that this would be perfect, and I agree. Definitely an adorable little bear ornament there, so I thought that was a really good choice. I picked out this ornament for the tree in our bedroom. I loved the sort of vintagey look to it. I love the really unique sort of uh, corally pink there, a salmony pink color. Um, and just again, the vintage look, I really love that. I think it'll go great on the little white tree in our bedroom. I also could not resist this dinosaur ornament. I thought it was so whimsical. They had a lot of dinosaur ornaments, so I really wanted to bring them all home. But I was especially drawn to the light blue color of this dinosaur, so I had to pick up that one. I'm not sure um, where I'll work this into my decor, but I just thought he was too cute to pass up. So that little dinosaur. I also got a couple additional ornaments for my sort of woodlandy look and um, kind of also going along with some of the plaid that I like to use. So I got this cute fox dressed up here on a um, sort of a tartan background inside this oval glass ornament here. So I got the fox as well as a deer here. Um, a stag actually dressed up in a suit, also on a plaid background. They also had a horse and a dog, but I didn't like them as much as I liked the stag and the fox. So I stuck with the stag and the fox. I thought that they would look really nice on our tree this year. And then the kids also picked out some ornaments. My daughter picked out this shark ornament. It's a very whimsical and cute, and the tail sort of wiggles, as well as the fins. She was just really drawn to how um, funny and whimsical and cute this little shark was here. So she got the shark. And my son's fiance loves violins, and so she picked out this sparkly violin. I thought that that was really pretty. 
And then my son picked out this really um, pretty silver swan here that I also thought was really neat. It looks like an origami swan. And I thought it was nice that they matched and they'll be able to use those on their tree as well. So those are the fun ornaments that we found as well as a couple of candle holders and a lot of fun snacks and treats to enjoy throughout the month of December. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at all of the items that we picked out from World Market to celebrate Christmas with, some of our fun ornaments as well as our fun treats to enjoy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.